Oh, well, this is fucking creepy. And we've only got a few minutes before that woman's fetched the uh, guard. He here. Sends him. No, he's not here. But he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. The fucking horse is rocking. Eviction notice. Use non payments and rents for this premises is used for shopkeeping purposes. The administrative call to Beauclair orders the tenant and Rick the Sump. Vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. Thank for the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court. Okay. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. I find these. Letter to the shopkeeper. Dear Master Shopkeeper. I think Detlef is pretending to be the shopkeeper. For a long, long time, I've been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mummy always cries and says that we haven't got any money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him when he will earn some, and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura has a teddy bear, and Michelle has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry that I will never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Mr. Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you for a long time ago. Uh, to you a long time ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now I know. If you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it. It will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am a little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. They only live in our imaginations. So what? I would love it very much. Oh. Really hope Detlaf is genuinely a nice guy who's been driven mm. to awful things. Somebody fixed this recently. For a legitimate reason. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. You are not the only one, Rageous. Time situation is creepy. Nice little trinket. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Wooden and played with by kids. <laughs> Somebody fixed Not a good way to go, Gary. Out. Attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. What's in the actual fuck? No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. Is his lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Same, actually, and I'm not sure why. Maybe a nice bit promotional trinket. material. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Tools were used recently. Detlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Yes! I need to know what he's doing. Oh, well, that nice is tune. indeed creepy as fuck. Certain why, but it reminds me of home, my true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Suspicious letter. Dead love, van der Eretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. Okay. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall what? flay the skin from her flesh, yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where 
Remember, you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. Oh. You must complete the killing okay. in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. The blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Who the hell would have balls? The blackmail of vampire. Any idea what it could be? I mean, that's Detlef just have any enemies. deadly. Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade Real him. bad idea. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlove yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Okay. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. She Never dead already? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why did he... I think... Not really that bothered about what Rages thinks. I want to know why he believed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is a so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Dedloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways. All kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be Kill a lot of people. He kills, for he cares for her deeply, and that blood. Those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He has He's a out point. to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. And again, someone has some serious fucking nuts on him. To try and blackmail him. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count mm -hmm. Crispy, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detlef's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Can we work out what type of wine? Okay, think of me to remember wine and that whatever that stuff was in, that's in the um, in the ink because 
guess anyone could have imported it, but I get the feeling it's not going to be something that many people import. It's going to be something that only really someone who is really, really rich that's going to actually import in. The chances are, only one person in the area is going to have imported it. And also, if I, as I remember rightly, these victims were all part of essentially a like a special knight errant squad. So they pay us off by going Yeah, do this. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Exactly. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Um... I'm tempted to say true. Seem reluctant to kill. I'm gonna go with untrue. Not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. And then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renowed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. Be sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Yeah, I've got some questions for Detlaf if he will allow me to question him. I talk to Rageous any further? Good. I'd never wish to give the impression I do not enjoy your company. The truth is quite the opposite, in fact. However... Yeah, I know. Detlaf's not likely to show up as long as I'm here. But five minutes won't hurt, will it? I suppose not. I was wrong to press you to go. You wish to ask something? Been meaning to ask you. How do you and Dedloff meet? Mm. Hmm. A somewhat uncomfortable subject. I'm all ears and I got time. As you well know, during my teething years I had a spell during which I abused blood. Among vampiric yes. youth, I was, all false modesty aside, rather popular. I ran with the plasma crowd. I made a great many acquaintances, one of whom was Detlaf. But our paths soon diverged. You see, our band had an appetite for chasing youthful capers. Blood-guzzling contests, that sort of thing. Let's turn into bats and terrify the ladies. Detlaf thought it all foolish. He was right, of course. Though I only came to understand this later. Sorry, just can't imagine you as a young vampire rabble-rouser. Renegade. Punk. <laughs> you know of our exceedingly long lifespans. They allow us plenty of time to change. I, for one, thank the gods for that. Just wondering, what if Detlaf doesn't show? He'll show. <sighs> Tell me, how's this work? When I need a short answer, concise, quick, you're likely to give me a scholarly lecture. 
But when I could use some details, elaboration, all I get is a few grunts. What's that about? <laughs> Allow me to explain. When speaking of facts, tangible matters, I do indeed strive to express myself precisely and at length. However, when our discussions centre on affairs of the intuition or things vampiric, my utterances are indeed towards the taciturn. For even the longest discourse would not allow me to explain to my interlocutor any issue of this purview satisfactorily. Therefore, I repeat, that laugh will show sooner or later. Fair enough. It does appear to have a Okay. Let us leave. Rage. Take care, Regis. Waiting. Lady appears to have gone. No, maybe she was blind. <laughs> maybe she was dumb. I don't know how we're going to do this yourself. one when all is said and done. Because, uh. That laugh seems to be a coerced man who just wants to live. Stop send the whip away, those running riot. So far, he appears to be being <laughs> forced <laughs> down certain roads. Excuse me? Asking who blows my porridge? Was he talking to a woman or something? Now I shall sing you a song. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna run there because I'm trying to think. So so far, Dirt Laugh seems to be essentially a man doing things under duress. He is murdering. He is a monster. This uh, is this is all based on a woman who obviously no longer wants to be with him, or at least doesn't seem to want to be with him. <laughs> it's a very, very long time ago. Who could the kidnappers be? I next wonder. I can't work out who would be the kidnappers. Because I'm being a bit of a vampire. Purely because, sorry, I've got an issue here. If it's not another vampire, they have got some absolutely massive stones. I'm pretty sure that if if they kill her, Detlaf would fucking destroy them, or at least do everything he possibly can to destroy them. If they don't kill her, and they hand her back afterwards, Detlaf will go and destroy them. They must be remaining in anonymous. Every aspect of this is so complicated. It's beautiful for the game. Ah, oh, it's nice to have some have a bit of a thinker. Garrett of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Trouble was already Step here. Aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? <laughs> Honestly, the case just got a lot more complicated. The case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Let me explain. The situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. 
or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. None of that is true. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt them either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. <sighs> Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. <laughs> go ahead, let them go to their deaths. Go ahead, send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone Witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can I they have. fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? A vampire. Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead no, wrong. you're a brainless beast. Lesser vampires. Alps, Akamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Yeah, I'm going to keep admonishing this it's way twat. beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Yeah, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> you can't. be pretty amused if you ask them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then Only what can we do? a higher vampire. Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. This is why... God, I hate dealing with these rich fuckers. <laughs> Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? Apologies, sorry. I just had to quickly reply to a message and I thought that conversation would go a little bit longer. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. 
You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! Oh. Into I'm gonna go wine. Wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Sara too. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue deep burgundy. Clarity. I'm really creeped out by the lake. It's simple. Sans Real. The 1269 vintage. That's. That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Ravello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Yeah. Let's find out a little bit about the wine. If nothing else, just to know a bit more about the wine. Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Ravello at once. Discover what has happened. Actually, yeah, what do you mean by we? Wait, your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, he hired what me. you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It First pleases smart me thing to that see twat you said. gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. But the captain will For make it difficult. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. He's a fucking In moron. Short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your grace. Yeah. Everyone knows your Which name. You your alias is basically your name with a space between it. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. Excellent. <laughs> Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Take the bloody crown off. That's it. Okay, horses don't move like that. <laughs> 